Now we're back to looking at seven and we're back to graphs. So it's wanting to know which equation is best represented by the graph. I'm gonna start by looking at my answer choices. I notice every single one of these answer choices is written in point slope form, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my star chart. I'm not gonna to try to remember this, okay? Point slope form according to my star chart is that y minus y1 equals my m x minus x1. I'm going to look at my answer choices again. Where I'm going to start here is I'm not going to start at trying to decide if the points are included. I am going to look at my slope. Okay, so let's look at our slope. What do you already notice about the graph? I'm hoping that you easily said it's going down the steps, so the slope is negative. Okay, I hope you already saw that this should be a negative. Okay, there should be a negative in front of that number. Let's look at our answer choices. Which two can we already eliminate? Well, look at C and D. Those are both positive slopes. They cannot be it, okay? Because they would be going up the steps. They would be going in that opposite direction there. So now, what's left is we have to look at the points, okay? So looking at answer A, I have a point here at four and a point at seven. Okay. And I'm gonna pull these out. Remember, when I pull the point out of point slope form, it is going to be the opposite sign. So inside, I have a negative four, okay? But when I pull this out, I'm gonna have a positive four for an X, okay? Inside, I have a positive 7, but when I pull it out, I'm going to have a negative 7. Okay, so first let me plot that point. I'm at positive 4, negative 7, so I should have a point right here. Okay, so far, that looks good. I'm just going to label it A. Okay. Let's check B. Because sometimes they may throw, like it could be one or more points, or which point. So we always want to check our answers. So looking at B, the same thing, I notice that uh, here's my point, 2 and 1. So as a reminder, we have 2. When we pull it out, that's going to be opposite sign. My x is negative 2. Here is 1 inside. When I pull it out, it's going to be at negative 1. So I'm looking for a point that is at negative 2 on the x, negative 1 on the y. So here is negative two, negative one. There is my point B. Yeah, that function is nowhere near that point. So I'm very comfortable with choosing A as my answer.